Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you the second part of my eBay haul, uh, which is going to be figures. Now, I don't know if I told you the first time, but I think I did. I spent around 500 quid on a load of stuff uh, because obviously I was going through a tough time and I didn't have anyone to vent to, so the only thing I could actually do was buy, buy things and part of me regrets it, part of me doesn't. So, and the bulk of it today will be will make up um, that 500 500 pound so I'm just going into it so I'm gonna start with the Buffy merchandise with a lot of figures first up is Vampire Willow uh, I think she cost around 17 pound 50 about 20 pounds and she came with a box as well right here so obviously 20 pound is quite really good reasonably priced because I know these Buffy figures can go for a lot so I particularly wanted to get the vampire below because um, obviously she's got her vampire face and it's from do do Doppelgangland so I preferred the vampire face rather than the normal so the box is really good condition it wasn't any battered except the fact they had to take it apart so she comes with um, her whip, plastic, and a little cigarette, I think it's like a cigarette car cartridge, and then some, to get it off, so there's the figure, yeah, so it's movable arms, legs, I think the best bit about her is that her legs and her little butt there are actually really detailed, and her face especially there, uh, that's what really attracted me. And then we've got little cufflinks as well, which reminds me of the spike ones, spike cufflinks. And then this is just wood, with the blood splatter on the neck, which is quite strange. And also her limbs are, are wood as well, it's, they're not plastic, which I'm not used to. But you can still um, move up and down her arms. You can't twist her head though, which is downside, but it can, you know, bend her legs. So that's her. The next is also a willow but this time it is dark willow she comes on a, again a wooden stand with a pentagram um, I won the bid uh, I this she was by now she was you know bidding and I won her which was very surprising because I particularly wanted this one because it's dark willow because it's got her veins and especially because of her stand again you can take her off you can't twist her neck um, twist her arms and she comes with a little fire ball which you just you know, place on the stand and a little pouch and then a little potion bottle as well cool. and then um, she didn't come in a box though um, just like another figure that I'm going to show you next they didn't come in a box they came in very secure wrapping of a bu bubble wrap and that one in question is Oz, which I have on my little uh, display shelf of all my games, so there he is. Uh, it comes a little stand as well, so Oz, you know, the werewolf. So he's got the guitar, he's got his um, crossbow, which is his, his accessories, so crossbow, guitar I could just take off, and then you bend his legs, again the wood, which I'm not used to, but you can actually twist his head, which is quite cool. So you can actually take these apart with all these props, it's a good thing. Again, this is wood, which is kind of, well not wood, but kind of like plastic, which is kind of weird. And this is a grave, so you, it reminds me of when you slot in your PS2 memory cards in. Like that, it's quite cool. And then you can just, it just stands on there, so it's a nice little prop figure. And he, and he didn't come in a um, box either, which understandably it comes down in price. And last two Buffy related figures. Um, I didn't want, I didn't particularly want Buffy or Giles because they just looked a bit too cartoony. Though, though having said that, Giles looked quite, like really quite cool, anime kind, kind of looking. But I decided to end up with two spikes. Um, oh, and with Oz, he came with a little amp as well, and like two crossbows and. Um, an extra hand, extra hand, 
and two stakes as well. So, so Spike, um, I got this on Black Friday, him on Black Friday. Um, I will do be doing a, like a Black Friday haul, which I did last year, which I should have done ages ago, but my tablet broke, so I couldn't do that. And this one question is the Beneath You Spike. I've got the box again. He costs, well, of course, he had a discount. Um, I can't remember exactly how much he costs. Um, yeah. yeah, he costs around £12.50 and from £11.97, so that was what? Uh, discount, so... Actually, no, he was originally £50.95 and it went down to £12.50, so came with the box, it was good. And then I got Spike. I actually wanted a the, the Season 6 Spike, I think, but I ended up having this one. It's really, really nice, detailed. I especially like his torso and his back, because it looks very, you know, very tall and very muscular, which is my favourite bit, because it's really detailed. And his face, especially his face, because sometimes when you can see... His face, sometimes action figures don't look like the actual actors, so it's really good. Cheekbones, you can twist his arms, you can't twist his head, which is annoying. You can twist his legs up, and his, well, you can't really twist his waist, though. So he came with a little podium, which reminds me of one of the scenes where he's, like, his chest is bare, and then Beth comes in the church, and he's over the cross and then she she sees him in, in another light and and the steam comes off it's quite a good um juxtaposition really so he came with a shovel because obviously beneath you it's when he goes crazy and then he came with a stake which is kind of weird i don't know why sometimes these props don't correlate with the actual episode and then we have a little bat as well. Another thing that I forgot to show you that went with the Dark Willow, I think, was a little spell book. Um, so, yeah, uh, the last figure also came in a box. It is the Vampire Spike. They did have an original original Spike, but I decided, again, I wanted the Vampire version. The only the only difference was was that the normal version was just had the, or the classic Spike had the red shirt and his normal looking face and this and really just the exact same props so he came with a box um how much did he co cost let's say around 20, 22 pounds i remember so that's the classic spike i'm actually talking about and so here he is he's a vampire version again i prefer the vampire version because actually has the and the difference is he's just all black he doesn't have the red shirt underneath and this is quite, it's hard plastic. I expect it to be a bit flimsier, but I guess it's not because it wants to retain its shape. And so he came with this little podium. It just stands up there, but the problem is it's got little two um, holes down here where you can stand him up, but, but it doesn't stand up too well. As you can see, there's only one there and the other foot, there's nothing and it's quite hard to, to stand him up. So. The actual backdrop is really good. Uh, you can take the cross off as well, which is really good. This is actually really well detailed. So he came with um, six props. So he came with the best prop. He came with it was an axe. But he can't actually fit these in his grasp. He can't actually can't, can't actually hold them. So really, they def they defeat the purpose. So. I guess he kind of can, but it's only with this one. They don't really stand up, but they are just props, really. Came with a poker, a dagger, which they do, They have like cut other coloured variants with the classic one, classic spike. And then came with a spear, I think, you know, like Lancelot has. And then a bill hook, I think. And then, I don't know what this is. I didn't don't really know what this is, but it's like a, a nail in the coffin kind of thing, I think. And then last of all is the cross and the other good figure. So the second good figure, not well, figure, prop. So this can actually stay in his hand as well. Like that. 
Um, I was particularly looking for Buffy figures, because obviously Buffy, I love Buffy and I love Final Fantasy VII, so obviously I only wanted to search for figures to do with them. So that's the Buffy figures sorted, and now I'm going to go on to some anime. So the next two pieces are from Love Hina, which is an anime. Um, I remember getting the books, well only the first two volumes, just out of the blue, I can't exactly remember what the context was, but um, I just do remember it. Um, I have actually, I've got the um, box set as well, but what I find of anime, it's very fast paced and sometimes it can be very hard to follow, just because it's hard, fast paced. So the first figure I have is Motoko, these two pieces are Motoko. So Motoko is a um, ninja, training, training to be a ninja. So I think she's supposed to be, if I remember, she's supposed to be 18 in the anime. So this is only a small figure. It does only cost £5. So she comes to like a, a beach scene holding a lolly. Uh, you can actually take a lolly off as well. Um, from the swimsuit. And I know that you can imagine that all of these other love Hina figures, like Nauru, the main character, they can be quite bare and quite... Um, exposed but that's why I just wanted this one. Um, I quite like Shinobu, Shinobu is my other favourite character in it. So it's just a very small figure really. Plastic, can only cost five, five pounds but I was particularly looking for Love Hina figures as well. So it comes like a like a foamy, um, semi foam, semi hard material. So you can place them in there. She only costs five pounds really but she, she's she's not poseable so she, it's just normal thin uh, vinyl um, material to so get her face properly, really nice, nicely detailed and you can twist her head as well, which I didn't even realise before and the box you came in, this is the box uh, it's there, and then it's like, you know, that's Nauru, that's the main character so these are the other figures you can collect so Naru, as, as you can see, um, the um, figures do look quite like like normal like fem female anime figures do look quite um, you know graphic, but uh, it's Naru, Mitsune, Motoko, Kanako, Koala Su, and Shinobu. Shinobu looks really cute. Uh, so yeah, the last figure. It came from the same seller, so these two figures came from the same seller, and this one cost £15. She came in a big box like this, really big, only for the figure. The figure's not that anything special, but the box is so. Really big box, the biggest box I actually own, ever own, that contain a figure in it. And that is Motoko. This one this is the first ever proper anime figure that I own. That doesn't, that's not poseable, not, artic not, not articulated. It's just a standard vinyls, vinyl statue, plastic, and also the stands. First time I own a stand like this. So you've got her blue hair. I think she actually, actually has black hair, but it's coming off at blue. So it's quite blue. I can move it a bit. Swimsuit, a training sword. At first I thought you could actually extend it, because it does actually look like you can extend it, but you can't. Good view of it. Huh? Came really nicely as well. Um, so I obviously, Motoko isn't my favourite character, but I do like her. Probably because I like probably like her personality. So that's all the Love Hina goodies now onto Final Fantasy figures. So I'm back now with a lot of figures, um, so I think I'm just going to gonna start off with, and their boxes, I'm going to start off with the first one, I um, don't know if you saw a glimpse of that, but it is Axel from Kingdom Hearts, um, he's the, he's from the second one, um, he's not from the third one, uh, so he costs £55, uh, I think I think actually sixty pound if it's actually including five pound um, uh, worth of shipping, but 
as you see it's complete, no breakages, though having said that, so it comes with his chakras, so I can say, having said they didn't come with any breakages, he's sort of, well it's my fault, he did come with an extra hand, but I accidentally tried to accidentally snapped it off once trying to exchange hands um, for some reason because I think he actually had his one hand where he can't even grasp the chakra in and I had to take me like half an hour to sand it down so you can actually take the little ball thing off so that hand is obsolete doesn't work anymore um, I think it's done there this is the box and that's two boxes uh, it's got a bit of um, creasing there, otherwise good addition. See the yellow ring already. Now I particularly wanted Axel, was the Axel, and I know these are expensive on eBay. Again, eBay. So really good hair detail. Comes with the stand, as you can see. Them. Take them off. Good thing about it, you can like twist his torso up and down. And you can see his boots. And but the thing is, you can't really place the actually let place the um, chakras in his hand to stay because they're quite awkward. But with time, with patience, you probably could. Um, you can't. One of the things that I wish you could do is pull his hood over his head. So that's him. And all this nicely glory. I love his coat. So that's him. Um, next, I uh, don't know what to start with next, I guess the the cheapest I have is Balthier for Final Fantasy XII. Uh, I think the reason why it's cheap is because it's got barely any, like, anything to him. Though he, he, he says the first figure that I own actually has a gun and holsters. And I really love the steampunk, but the steampunk corsage he's got on. He's got his shot, his um, pistol, old revolutionary pistol on there. Um, Balthia was my favourite character until Barsh. Yeah, really nicely detailed. Came with his box as well. So there's his box. Complete with the box. Again, the box is not too bad. The next, the second cheapest is probably the Advent Children Cloud. I know they have a new cloud out, but um, to be honest, it's not too dissimilar to this one. So he came in a very kind of battered box, old box, like this one. So you can see how quite battered it is and how worn it is. But he cost, um, so you can find it, I can't remember how much he cost. Yeah, I can't remember how much he cost because it's been a while since it's been on eBay. Um, so he was really quite dusty and quite flimsy. Um, these can actually take off and then position them however you like. Um, what I really love about him is his arm here and his um, little emblem. Uh, the only thing I don't really like is his um, hair looks kind of translucent where he's got like brown. I know it's supposed to be blonde and I know it's supposed to reflect the shadowing but it's kind of kind of strange. And also his lips, they're really too pale. And I know that there are figures out there who don't who who done a really shoddy paint job. And doesn't even look like the character, but you know, okay. And then I love another thing I really love about him is is as always his um legs. Um and also I don't like the fact that his arm is really flimsy, so he can barely even hold his sword. All of these figures came with a stand. Like that, I can barely even hold this sword. So I can barely even hold it, but the sword looks really good. So that's him. Next is Kadaj. He came the same time as um, another figure I'm going to show you later on. Uh, it's Kadaj from Abed Children. I think he's actually one of the um, Residents of Fate. Well, I was I was originally thinking that he was part of Residents of Fate in the remake trailer, but I'm wrong, I think. So it didn't have 
So the weird thing is, um, Kadaj is available as a figure, but not Laws or Yazoo. Maybe just maybe because the figures being made are only being made because they're popular. So good thing is I can twist his um, body like snake-like. That's why it's kind of hunched. I didn't think he would be kind of hunched, but thinking about it, when I watched Advent Children for the first time, it was so it's very detailed. I uh, got this little kata little ka uh, mini kata katana. Cool, I can actually hold in his hand. I like my it. He costs. Hmm, I can't remember how much he costs actually. Damn it! But that's him. He came with a stand. Um, so it's a little. Um, what do you call it? You know what I mean? Uh, sheath. The next figure is um, one of the last figures I actually own that I actually bought and she cost around £20 and I was actually quite amazed that I, I won her because I think it was just at the time I know it was on eBay at the time and considering this whole um, outbreak we have at the moment it's, it's you know a great time that I actually went spent on eBay when I did in hindsight. So that is Yuffie from Advent Children, she came with a stand uh, the reason why she's not on a stand because I sit her on my little, you can see, on my little um, Green Day thing there, Green Day CD there. So she comes with her um, Shukran, I can't remember, <laughs> I butchered that name, sorry. Um, so yeah, her box, the box, she was really, really dusty. When I got her, she was really dusty. Not the box, but the actual figure herself. So she took me like half an hour to just really clean her up. Just spit and then just spit and then just wipe her down, like half an hour. Her neck was full of dust, everything. Um, yeah, it's kind of a pain, but I actually prefer this version of Yuffie rather than the original because I don't know if it's me, but these Advent Children figures I kind of prefer because you know that they've moved on from the original game and uh, it's, just, it's just almost as if like they're real uh, real people, it's kind of weird, but um, they've actually moved on and matured. So yeah, that's her, she's got a band on, I think this is Aerith's bow that she has on, I think I might be wrong, but so yeah, she sits um, like that on my CD and next is um, Reno I was about to call him Reno but it's actually apparently pronounced Reno so that's him I expected his rod to extend but I think the remake figure would extend would be more better well will be better than this one but the rod will extend in the remake figure, I assume so. So it's on, it's on the Shinra. Um, again the best bit for me is always the legs, how detailed, the ruffle, ruffles and then yeah really cool, he comes with a stand, a black stand, a stand, a black stand and also obviously he came in a box as well, if you can find it, from Advent Children I think. Yeah, Advent Children Play Arts 2, like a red lining in there, and then there's the figure himself, see of Kadaj and Yuffie. Um, yeah, I know it's not much to him, but there wasn't any much to Reno anyway, <laughs> to the figure. Um, yeah, we feel, I know if the remake is not that much different, except for the, for the whole bulky, um, the only change is the whole bulkiness of the uh, limbs and stuff, the ball joints. Um, let's see, almost done, the next figure, I've already, show, already showed you on my unboxing, That's, this is Una from Final Fantasy X, and this is the last figure I purchased from eBay, and the box is right here, I've already shown you the um, unboxing, so if you want to check that out, the link will be somewhere at the end of this video. Again, really cool. I did expect her to be taller than this, so she she came with a white translucent stand, like a crystal looking one, with his staff. And yeah, really good condition. Uh, how much did she cost? I can't remember how much she actually costs now. But yeah, 
she actually, I think, £60 or something. I can't find my book. book. I can't remember how much it cost. Um, yeah, £52, so... Yeah. Second to last figure, one of them that came with um, Kadash. I was inside, I, I mean, it was the biggest box I've received. These two came together from the same seller, and I in inwardly screamed <laughs> in a good way. I was like, oh my god. And that is, I cannot believe it, it took a lot, a lot of bidders, but I won in the end after the last second. I won him at, let's see, how much did he cost? He was the most expensive, no, Airwith, which I'll show you last year, was the most expensive. This one was £54, I won at £54. Zack, Zack. Oh my god, see, this the remake actually looks like this one, the, the Cloud remake. Oh, amazing, it's like my favourite figure. Even, I think I actually prefer him than the Aerith. Um, I know the remake is not too dissimilar to this one. Um, I actually forgot when I got him, they actually placed a sword on his back, which they should have done in the Advent Children version of Cloud. Oh, wow, it actually looks like the, the uh, promotional copy that the promotional figure that they would essentially, that, that you would actually imagine to be placed alongside the Crisis Core game, which I have. Oh, amazing. So yeah, you can either place it on his back, which I usually do, and or in his hands. But oh my god, the sword is just so detailed. Really, the, the best looking sword. I'm so, so happy when I won him. I know it was expensive, but it's totally worth it. And the sword, oh my god, it's just oh, orgasmic. Oh wow. <laughs> and god, the sword is just so good, it's just so sturdy. Um, okay, so the last one I think I already know. Aerith. She was the most expensive, even though she's kind of tiny. £70 she cost. She came with the staff. I actually prefer her, this one, this version, to the remake, only because I preferred her to be a bit petite and a bit more delicate because hands are really delicate and all of these figures c came with extra hands so if you don't want to place her place, place their um, equipment in their hands you could just um, just prop your figures with normal hands on if that makes sense um, and also obviously with these figures they don't come with massive ball joints either doesn't mean I don't like the remake versions I kind of do but I just prefer Personally, I just prefer to have the, um, you know, the, the delicate version of her. Really teeny waist and really kind of final, nicely detailed as well. Sort of seal her down almost, but not too much. And I love her rod as well. Uh, yeah, really nicely detailed. And her bow is the best bit for me. I love the, love the bow. And as you can see, you can actually get her necklace as well. You can actually buy a necklace, but that costs like a lot just for what it is on the Square Enix store. Right, I think that's all the figures, all the Final Fantasy figures. Now, do you see how much I spent on figures alone? But that's not all. I've got another eBay haul, the last eBay haul to come, and that's video games. But the last figure, though, it is not Final Fantasy related. It is Kingdom Hearts related, but it isn't a figure per se, it is a Funko Pop Riku. So this is to compensate for the Riku, for the action figure Riku that I originally wanted, but it's just too expensive. There's only the only one I saw on eBay and it was like 150 quid and I knew, considering how much I could spend already, I knew I'd be able to afford it. Maybe in the future maybe, but I still prefer the Kingdom Hearts 2 version of Riku. That's him to compensate. Obviously, I do love Funkos that actually have something to them, such as if it's holding a sword or like the Jack Torrance one that I have. If he has like wielding like an axe or you know, something like that. And I know I said that Funko Pops are a bit too expensive because they only come in like a huge box, a lot of plastic surrounding the actual figure, but. I'm, I'm actually quite warming to those. I'm still preferring those with a bit of, you know, with a bit of something to them, you know, but a bit more prop to them, but, um, yeah. 
So that's it for my figures, that's it for the second part of my eBay haul. Um, hope, you'll hope you'll join me for my third instalment of my eBay haul, which will be video games, uh, which I have a load, and that will conclude that will hope that will conclude the eBay haul um, for quite a while, for quite some years to come. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Um, again, I know this video kind of sounds like that I'm bragging, or well, I have, but really I wanted to show you what I've got and also the struggle. Hopefully this will actually portray, or at least reflect to you, make you understand the struggle that I've been through and which I'm hoping to be out of soon after all of this virus thing's over. It isn't to do with the virus, it's doing way before the virus, but um, um, yeah, it might be a topic for another video in the future if I manage to, um, you know, move on, but yeah, I um, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next instalment.